box puzzles too, Add Like a Genius. So this is the second in the series of three box puzzles. And this is something you want to give to your more advanced students, students that need a little extra challenge. And it teaches them how to add a series of numbers and even a very long series of numbers. Um, so it starts with the instructions. Instructions are here. The question is, what's the sum of the numbers one through six? So one plus two plus three plus four plus five and plus six. So there's, there's a trick in how to do this. So we're going to have a chart here or a table and we're going to line up the numbers in the first row in order from least to greatest. So one through six in the second row, you're going to line up the numbers just the opposite greatest to least. When you do that and you add each column, you're going to get the same answer every time. So this is basically just adding one through six, two times first row and the second row. And you're going to get an answer of seven times six, which is 42. Now, since we added the one through six twice, we have to take half of 42 or divide by two. And that gives us 21. So if we add one plus two plus three plus four plus five and plus six, we get 21. Okay. So they're going to practice this a few times till they get the hang of it. The second slide, first row is done for them. What is the sum of the numbers one through eight? So all the numbers are listed one through eight from least to greatest. The second row, they're going to type it in. So here they're going to go greatest to least eight, seven, six. I'm just going to type this in four, three, two, one. And when they add the columns, they're going to find that every number on the bottom row is going to be a nine. So if we add one through eight, the numbers one through eight twice, we're going to get nine times eight, which is 72. If we want to know how much it is to add the numbers once, we just take 72 and divide by two. Now the next one, they're going to fill in all three rows. Okay. The sum of the numbers one through 10. So they're just going to type in one through 10 in the top row. And from greatest to least in the second row, 10 through one, add them all together. Now the third row should be the smallest number plus the largest number. So one and 10 should be 11. So that means we're going to have 11 all the way across and there are 10 boxes going across. So 11 times 10 and then divide by two. Now we want the students just to think about it without having that chart to look at. So if we want the sum of the numbers one through 20, we'll think about what the sum in row three would be for each column. If we add our smallest number to our largest number, we're going to get 21, one plus 20. So all the numbers in that third row will be 21, 20 numbers going across. So we're going to take 21 times 20 divide by two. And even a longer row of numbers, one through a hundred. Okay. So if you took all the numbers one through a hundred, obviously that would take a long time if you did it with the chart or the table. So we just think about it. If I add the large, the smallest number to the largest number, I get 101. And then there would be a hundred numbers going across. So it would be 101 times 100 <clears throat> and divide by two. <clears throat> So they should be getting the hang of it by now. Now, any sequence, fixed sequence of numbers should work. So even if we're looking at the sum of the even numbers, two through 20, for example, um, how many even numbers are between one and 20? Well, there are 10. So it started for them. So make sure they start at two and not one. So from least to greatest, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, all the way to 20. Now, second row, then they're going to type in the numbers from greatest to least. They're going to get two plus 20 is 22. So all of these numbers are going to be 22. Multiply by 10 and then divide by two. Here are odd numbers. The odd numbers between 10 or 10 through 50. Here's another way to look at it. Okay. Um, how many numbers between 10 and 50? Well, there's 40. So that means we only want the odd numbers that will be 20, um, 
20 columns. Half of 40. Now the smallest number is 11 because they're odd numbers. The largest number is 49. They're going to type in that total. So this would be their third row would be 60. We're going to take that times 20 because there's 20 columns and divide by 2. Now hopefully the students are getting the hang of it by now. When they get to that final slide, now this is a riddle they're going to solve. So the, the riddle is what did the calculator say to the student? So they're going to add all the numbers, 1 through 7. They're going to type in their answer here. When they find the answer at the bottom, they're going to type in an N. Add the numbers 1 through 9. When they get the answer, they're going to find it at the bottom and type in an M. And if they do these all correctly, they will solve the riddle. So that is Box Puzzles 2, Add Like a Genius.